to dream big, especially when you walk into the United Nations. And for their latest exhibit, China Story, by artist Yan Zhen, they're looking to do just that. I'm here today to check it out. They're a representation of spirit, and they're a representation of soul and dreams and sort of the complexities. Maintaining international peace at the United Nations headquarters doesn't have to be so black and white. Chinese poet and painter Yan Zhen premiered his colorful new exhibition, China Story, at the Secretariat Lobby Monday night. For John Ash, it was his final day as president of the General Assembly's 68th session, but he left filled with gratitude for Yan. As he has done in his various endeavors, brings East and West together. And for that, I thank you. We here at the UN could probably learn a lot from you. What viewers can also learn is the power of exploration, both globally and artistically. Jan's work spans over six decades and has produced more than 40 books and a number of successful exhibitions in China and the U.S. Jan describes his hope for the people of the two countries as illustrated in China's story. I hope the people of the world, including the people of China, will remain friendly for generations. Just as I feel the American people are so industrious and hardworking, I also believe that the Chinese are peace-loving and friendly. So long as the people of the two countries treat each other as brothers and are united as brothers, that will be the guarantee for world peace. The collection combines Chinese ink painting, abstract expressionism, and surrealism to create an experience as unique as its audience. It's through the colorful works that global conversations can get started, both in the UN's lobby and its meeting rooms. It's amazing that he's able to talk to both the different cultures, and I think the cultures have a lot in common. China is such an amazing place. I was in Hunan province a few years ago, and I have a lot of Chinese friends, and I, I love the culture, so I think that he's a wonderful ambassador. I've spent 12 years back and forth in China, and so I see that by this event and by the people I know and see here who are very international, that this is really what the artist is accomplishing, that he is bringing together the East and the West. Art is the one that can build good relationship. If politics doesn't work, at least art will work. The exhibition will be on display at the United Nations for the next two weeks. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Christy Clements.